And welcome to your Gold Market Update Charts of the Day for today. It's the 5th of October 2023. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Gold Markets, to lead you around what's happening in markets today. Let's look across the news, see what's happening. Of course, we saw US equities bounce overnight, reversing some of the previous day's losses. The Nasdaq snapped a three day losing streak, and the Nasdaq outperformed as money continues to edge into big tech. Treasury yields eased a little after a sub. After a soft jobs report, and this certainly helped market mood significantly. Okay, US futures are not following through. We're seeing them flat in Asian trading. Asian markets following that strong US lead, however, the SX is up between about 0.2 and 0.3%, a little choppy at the midpoint of the session. The VIX pulled back, not surprisingly, on that slight uptick in equities. The US dollar index fell from multi month highs and looks weaker again in Asia. Gold paused from its recent drop, but didn't move up despite that USD weakness. And we saw copper down again. Both are slightly higher in Asia, uh, but there is caution undoubtedly there with some big data out over the next couple of days. We saw a significant drop, however, in oil price, despite the data which suggested that it might be held up, okay, but um, the drop suggested as it moved through support, some technical trading going on. Bitcoin is torn with the resistance level around about 27,700. This stage, it's been playing with that level over the last few days. It looks interesting technically. On the data front, the highlight of today is the US weekly jobs data. And we've got non-farm payrolls tomorrow. But for today, we saw Australian trade balance numbers show exports better than expected. We also have German trade balance numbers out later too. Now, a lot of stocks are looking to bounce off support levels. And, and 360 ASX is not one that is another one that we think is interesting. And uh, you can see this move here down to below $8 uh, yesterday. Uh, but this doji type candle at this previous resistance level, which may now be support, uh, suggested the reversal might be on the cards that selling is potentially done with this. And you can see that's been backed up by today's candle, which has moved back over $8. It is trading towards the high of the session. So it wouldn't be surprising to see it move in the medium term up to around about this $9 level. So from where we are today, that's a very healthy 9% return to the upside. And this company is one that has performed well. That's the earnings we saw a little while ago. Uh, so it does suggest that fundamentally this company is strong. So it could be worth a look on the back of this bounce. If we move to the FX world, with weakness in the US dollar evident, we can see that the daily chart on the ASX suggests a V-shaped bounce back into a previous range, potentially uh, above this 63.60 level. And so with that identified on the daily chart, let's go short term and see what's happening. And you can see on the short term chart, we had a breach of that 63.60 after that big move up in Asia, just a little pullback as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. So we're pausing on the back of this, but it could be that this is up for a significant move towards 64, which would be a 60 pit move from where we're trading right now. So one undoubtedly to keep an eye on should that US dollar weakness continue. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye bye for now.